I'm going to go over all the steps it takes to run a duck call. Now there's a few things we got to do before we actually get into running one. And I'm going to break these videos down into segments. Uh, you guys can watch them anytime you want. First thing you got to do is you got to understand how one works. You do not blow into a call. You actually you pressurize it. Uh, blowing into a call gets that noise. You can't pressure the reeds right to get the right sound out of it. When you add pressure to them, see that's pressure. It makes the reeds resonate in the right way. So, we need to learn how to hold the call, put the call up to our mouth, how to get our throat open, and how to get the pressure out of our lungs and into the call. So, the first thing is you need to put the bottom lip of the call on your bottom lip. You need to put the top lip of the call under your top lip. So basically what you're not wanting to do is you don't want to constrict anything. So if you imagine your throat is this big around, your lips need to be that big around. Now you can change that for doing different calls, but for the basic part of it, you need a just straight run of air from the back of your throat all the way into the call. So, bottom lip, call goes on top. Top lip, call goes on top. Just like that. Now, the pressure that you use to run a call with, when you take a big deep breath, and you hold it, you make pressure inside your body. Your lungs are pressurized. They're, they're, they're a bag, so when you inflate the bag, just like a balloon, Breathe in, you inflated your lungs. Now they're under pressure. So your job is to get the pressure out of your lungs, up your esophagus, through your mouth, and over the reeds. So you want to take a big deep breath and hold it. And when you go like you're going to whistle, that's pressure. Same thing as fog and glass, big deep breath. When you exhale, that's your pressure. Your diaphragm sits under your lungs, and when you exhale, that is the muscle that gets the pressure out. So, first thing you want to do is take the call around backwards, take a big breath, big as you can, and then just like you're going to whistle. That is pressure. So, big breaths, pressure through the call with an open throat. Now, I don't personally like to use words to describe how to make a sound on a call because you really don't say a word into a duck call. That's very hard to do. I don't know how to do that. What I do say is we need to learn what our tongue is doing inside of our mouth. So for a quack, this is what we're going to cover on this little segment. It's just a quack. The quack is the basis for all duck call sounds. That tongue movement does everything. It does a feed, it does a bouncing hen, it does a contest ring, all the way down to uh, any note you want to make. It all starts off with a quack. So we have to have a good fundamental quack down before we can do anything. So, what our tongue needs to do in our mouth. If this is our front teeth, this is the bottom set. This is the back of them, this is the front of our teeth. So our lips sit here. Now, our tongue, this is the tip, needs to stay anchored against those bottom teeth in the back. It does not move off of it. When you say a T sound, this is why they've always told us to do that. When you say a T sound, in order to say that, your tongue has to hit the roof of your mouth. So, what I want you to do is throw quit, hit, wit, all that out the door. What I want you guys to do is when you're making the pressure and you're putting it through the call, the middle of your tongue goes up and slams against the roof of your mouth, and that is a quack. If I do a quack without putting my tongue up to the top of my mouth, this is what you get. That's just straight pressure going over the reeds. When you take the middle of your tongue and you put it against the roof of your mouth, that is what makes a quack. And you can make them 
shorter, you can make them faster. It's just letting the air go over my tongue and cutting the note. So the best thing for you guys to practice if you're just starting out is one single quack. Take a break. Take a break. Take a break. You need to get that one note down perfect. Because until you get that one note down, you can't do anything else. But that is the buildup of all the calls. So it's just your tongue going quack, 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 quack. Practice that when you got one, then throw two in. Don't worry about the cadence, whether they're long or short. You know, it doesn't really matter if you're going or we'll get that later. So right now, do one. When you got the one down to where it's just habit, do two. Because what you're doing is you're building muscle memory in that tongue. It's just no different than riding a bike. You take the training wheels off and you go 10 feet, you fall over. You keep doing that and doing that, then all of a sudden one day you can ride. Your body remembered how to balance, how to stay up on that bicycle, and your tongue has to do the same thing. You've never done that movement before, so you have to do it enough times that your body can remember it. So it's just that one crack is the basis of all life on a duck call. I move my hand out of habit, but you guys really don't need to worry about that to start with. The only thing you really want to worry about is you make a cradle, put the call in the cradle. You can keep your hand open. So, just out of habit, I'm calling for a while you end up. Because that does change sound a little bit for you when you get more advanced. So that is the quack, fellas.